Hey guys, before I get into the unboxing in today's video, I wanted to do the contest drawing for the video I did on Bandbox's Charlie Bliss Guppy album. There was a digital download code, and so here I am spinning this random name generator with everybody's name in it that commented, um, and I just let it pick the first person and I let them win. So Miranda Holter, um, you won. Uh, for the comment on that video, just uh, get with me and I'll give you the download code for that and congratulations and now we'll get into the unboxing. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today uh, I'm going to be talking about a VCLT I got recently. So I actually filmed this video yesterday when I got the box and I went to go and put the files from my memory card into my computer so I could put my intro and edit it and all that fun jazz. And apparently the file corrupted. I have no idea how or why or what is going on with it. So you don't get to see me unbox this one. I was really excited to post an unboxing of this so I'm gonna apologize in advance that you don't get to see me unbox this VCLT. Uh, so I did get a VCLT package in the mail from Jersey Joey. Uh, you guys know him probably as Joey from Under the Needle. He had commented on a video of mine um, and he asked if I had any Linda Ronstadt in my collection. I said no, I wasn't familiar with Linda Ronstadt. And so he ended up sending me a box full of Linda Ronstadt albums. He also sent me a note that had like the albums and their release year and like some of his favorites off of them. I've put that note in uh, with like the rest of my notes that I get from VCLT packages and stuff and I honestly forgot to get it out before I sat down to film this. But um, I'm gonna show you guys the records that Joey sent me. If you guys have not been to Joey's channel, it will be linked down below so you guys can go check him out. And I do wanna say a huge thank you because I swear this box was like Mary Poppins' magic bag. It was like a never ending. I just kept pulling records out. You guys, I really wish you could have seen my reaction to like how insane this VCLT was. We are filming it again. Um, but again, thank you, Joey. His channel's linked down below. He's currently doing a contest as well, and I was gonna film an entry to that sometime soon, so hopefully I'll get that up in the near future, but I'm gonna show you guys what he sent me. As I'm editing this, um, Joey had actually deactivated his channel after I had filmed this and got this ready to edit and upload. Um, I did wanna throw that out there that he is no longer doing the contest and his channel is no longer up. Um, I don't know the exact reasons why his channel is down, um, but just wanted to throw that out there. I will still leave a link to it below. He may come back. He may just be taking a break. I'm not really sure. I haven't been able to uh, get in contact with him, but his channel will still be linked below. Uh, I was familiar with a few of these Linda Ronstadt albums, but... I honestly don't know anything from Linda Ronstadt, so the only thing I was really familiar with was the album art from seeing it in a record store, uh, and then there were some of these that I had never even heard of before. First one is Don't Cry Now, and this one I had never heard of, never seen before, but all of these that he sent me are on Asylum Records. Uh, I kind of chatted with Mike a little bit yesterday, Mike from My Guitar Player 07, about Linda Ronstadt, and not all of her albums are on Asylum, but all the ones that Joey sent me are. Uh, but I really like this album art. It's very 70s inspired, for sure, which this was released in 73, I think is what his note said, um, with a picture sleeve, and then the back side of it had the liner notes on it. This one is on the Asylum label with the cloud sky image. I don't exactly know the technical term for that one, you'll have to excuse me. The next one was Prisoner in Disguise, and this was an album that I hadn't seen either. Um, nothing about it looked familiar to me. This one does have a nice gatefold on it. This one's also on the Asylum label with the clouds. The next one is Hassan Down the Wind. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I did recognize she did two covers off of this one. One of That'll Be The Day 
by Buddy Holly, and the second one being Crazy, uh, which was written by Willie Nelson, but Patsy Cline sung it. So I did recognize those two names on here. And Mike and I were kind of talking a little bit about it yesterday, but I don't recognize really anything else on it. And I love the gatefold on this one. I did have an inner sleeve that come with the lyrics to all of the songs. This one's also on the Asylum label. And I hadn't seen this one in the record store either. There were only a few in here that he sent me that I had seen. Because I usually see a lot of her greatest hits album and I've also seen a lot of this next record which is Simple Dreams. I've seen this one and the greatest hits probably the most um, out of all the Linda Ronstadt albums I've seen but I like the artwork on this one. I think it's very nice as well and this one does also have a very nice gatefold. Uh, this one seems to be it in really immaculate condition so I'm super excited. Uh, also when I was talking with Mike yesterday he said that's like one of his favorite Linda Ronstadt albums so I'm able to put a little bit more in here I guess. Um, this one does also have a picture sleeve in here, a picture of her with the lyrics on the other side. And then this one had a custom label but is still on Asylum. Uh, it kind of has the same like little I guess album logo because it's got like a little ribbon-esque type thing um, around the Simple Dreams album title and it kind of does the same thing there. This next one I had seen a few times but not too often and this is called Living in the USA uh, which again has some really cool album art with it and the gatefold on this one is really nice as well. I think this is probably my favorite gatefold out of all of the Linda Ronstadt albums he sent. Um, I just, I'm a sucker for gatefolds. I really like gatefolds. And then this one does have a custom label as well. And it's got like um, her feet because you know she's on the rollerblades in the album art. So it kind of has like the rollerblades up there as part of the custom label. The next one is the album Mad Love. And I really like this album art. I think this is very cool. Uh, and the back of this one actually has all of the lyrics to the songs that are on here, which is really nice. And this one does have just like, it's kind of a custom label. It does have the same like Blue Asylum label, but it has kind of some custom text to it. Like it has the um, almost handwritten type font that is on the front of the album. So it kind of is custom. One more. I told you guys this was the never ending box, I swear. Um, the last one though is uh, Linda Ronstadt with Nelson Riddle and his orchestra and it's called Lush Life and this one is really cool because you lift this part up and the inner sleeve actually comes out of it like you're opening like um, a little powder it's like makeup powder um, and this is the original like inner sleeve mm -hmm. that it come with because you know it, I guess this would be considered like the original insert because uh, this, like I said, comes off and you can take it out of here. Um, and it has like the credits to the album there. And then that's like the back of the cover, like the inner sleeve. On one side it's got, you know, your credits and then the other side it has your lyrics to the songs. And this one is also on a really pretty custom label. I think this is probably my favorite custom label. I really love the purple. Purple's like my favorite color, so. I'm a really big fan of that purple there. I do again want to say a big thank you to Joey because that was just amazingly kind of you to send all of those albums my way. You definitely spoiled me and I'm so excited to get to listen to these in the upcoming days. Um, I've not had time to listen to them yet but I will definitely be listening to them soon and letting you know my thoughts whenever I get around to listening to these because I have a lot of new records to get around to listening to um, and I've just not had the time. I might, it's been so crazy. I've not had any time to listen to new music hardly and I'm itching to listen to a lot of new music I've gotten recently so hopefully I'll be able to listen to those soon and uh, let you know what I think of these but thank you guys for watching. Check out Joey's channel. It's linked down below and I'll see you all in my next video.